Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is draw debug point. Let's run through a quick little example, and we get a point. It's nothing exciting. It's literally just a little red dot. And that's what our node does. It's drawing a debug point on our screen. By default, here's our default settings. And we'll go ahead and look through each of them. Position is really simple. It's the location in world coordinate system space of where that point is going to be drawn. Size is going to be the size on screen. By default, it's zero. And yeah, you're pretty much not going to be able to see it. It's not going to draw anything. Even something like a one technically gets drawn, but it is so tiny, it's not even going to be visible most of the time. I aimed for something like five in this instance, and then you can now see it. So keep that in mind. This size is very difficult to see when it's small for a point. It takes in a point color. Well, that's the color of the point, and then the duration. Zero is one frame only. Any other duration above that, so let's say for example three, and we'll draw this now once instead of on the tick, is going to give us back a point for that many seconds. After three seconds, the point disappears. Really simple node, but there's some cool things you can do with it. On the tick in this case, I'm going to put in the actor's location. And we're going to go ahead and go with a... Uh, let's go with um, let's go with the duration of 2 and size 5. And we'll run this. And you'll see we get a little trail following our character. And this could be useful for debugging purposes. Maybe you put this on an AI and you can actually walk them, go, go around things, and you can keep track of a trail for debug purposes. Now, obviously, if we set the duration to 0, well, not really much is going to happen. Set it to something bigger for debugging purposes, maybe 15, and now you can keep track of when things happen. And of course, since this is color coordinated, there's no reason while it's drawing you can't change the color. So for example, if your player's moving and then it sidesteps or the velocity changes, color code the you can color code the nodes to maybe the velocity and show starts and stops of different speeds. You can watch how your character is actually running and performing in the world. So in summary, we draw a debug point, takes in where in the world it is, what size it is, the color of the point, and then the duration, zero being for one frame only.